Welcome to the channel of Coach Embrathy. Today is our Pink Sunday. First of all, I want to thank Mervyn who has designed this amazing intro video. He also designed the new banner for our YouTube channel. The number one focus in Chinese table tennis is footwork. Your footwork should be quick and precise. I have shown to you the ladder reels to train quick footwork. Today, you will learn the four fundamental footwork patterns that you should follow to have the precise movement. Korean, Japanese and Chinese players train footwork a lot. For example, this reel helps you to increase the response rate of the muscle receptor. The muscle spindle receptor and the Golgi tendon organ all send information about the state of the muscle to the central nervous system. All muscle, with the exception of, of the extraocular and the facial musculature, contain this type of receptor. Golgi tendon organ sends muscle tension and the rate of change of muscle tension, which is very important in table tennis. Footwork pattern in table tennis you have known the method to improve the agility of your footwork. Now you must learn the optimal way to move and position your legs. It is called the footwork patterns. Some players ask me, I played very well in the training, but in the real match I played badly. I miss the ball and I can't attack the ball. There are many reasons for that. The main reason is for the amateur player, they don't know how to move after the service. You should move to the optimal position right after your service. One of the biggest mistakes during the training is people groove their forehand topspin with their feet planted like trees in one place. So in the real match, they don't know how to move and can't play efficiently. Footwork pattern for forehand service. If you use the forehand serve, you stand close to the table. After your service, you need to get into the ready position to attack the next ball as soon as possible. The first footwork pattern is called two-step pattern, composed of one big step of the right foot and a small charm of the both feet. The big step quickly changes the service stance to the ready stance, and the small charm adjusts your feet and your body to the coming ball. Use two-step pattern to quickly come back to the ready position after your service. If you use more than two steps, three to four steps to come back to the ready position, you are too slow, reduce to the two-step pattern. If you use zero step, just stay at the same position after the service, then you can't attack the next ball. This position is too close to the table, so you need to step back. Want to know how many steps you use after the service? Easy. Take your iPhone and film yourself in the real match. The footwork pattern for the backhand service. You normally stand at the middle of the table for your backhand service. You need also quickly come back to the ready position after this service. Use the two-step pattern. Move your left foot forward as a big step and a small jump for the both feet as a small step. The advantage of forehand serve is many variation and deceptive spin. The advantage of backhand serve is quickly recover to the ready position. Using the backhand serve, you don't need to step back a lot like the forehand serve. If you have a slow footwork, use more backhand serve in your match. The reason why the Chinese players are so quick is they always come back to the ready position after the shot. They prepare in advance. They always make the little charm to adjust to the next ball. This small charm is another example of micro-adjustment I have talked before, which decides the quality of the player. Some players just step back but forget the small charm. This small step is very important and to do that efficiently, you should move on your toe but not on your heel. 
Look at this coach. She stepped back right after her service. Make a little charm. Forehand top spin and immediately make another small charm to equilibrate and prepare for the next shot. You can also clearly see that the center of the gravity is transferred from the right foot to left foot during the forehand top spin. For the backhand top spin, the center of the gravity is in the middle, the legs are parallel, but you should also make the small steps. After your shot, you need to come back to the ready position. To return the ball at your right side, you should also use the two-step pattern. Put your right foot forward, lean your body, return the ball and quickly come back to the ready position. Remember, keep your elbow close to the body, thus the foot will make you get into the position but not the forearm. Some players just stand at the same position and put the elbow forward. This way we will decrease the consistency of your shot. The stroke me mechanism should be the same at any position on the table. Use only the footwork to move. So today we have discovered the first footwork pattern in table tennis, the two-step pattern. This pattern should be used after your service or after your service return. It consists of one big step and a small charm. That is for today. See you next weekend.